Welcome to Quant Minds International in Vienna. I'm Joanna Simpson. Joining me now is Wim Schoutens, Professor at University of Leuven. Thank you very much for joining me You're today. Welcome. And just tell me, what is conic finance? And what are its implications for the future of quantitative finance? So conic finance is a new way of looking to things where we basically try to come up with some conservativeness. Uh, instead of saying things like we have done before by taking expected values, we are now basically are going to see where the risks are and where we have to either overweigh or underweigh, and that leads then to a new price. Essentially, it is a new kind of way of risk managing. Kind of, um, we had several crises and we went from traditional risk management of looking to a standard deviation, then we went to a value at risk, and then we went to an expected shortfall. And now we're just doing it in a little bit more sophisticated way, where we don't put all the weights on one particular quantile like value at risk, or a kind of equally weighted number of quantiles like expected shortfall, but we have a nice curved weighting of all the quantiles that we are thinking is, are important. And regarding machine learning, you're looking for solutions to old problems. Uh, what is it that you're trying to solve and why? Well, I've been attending for more than 10 years quanti uh, quant mines. Uh, back then it was called differently and I have seen all the, the different kind of streams kind of we were very happy of speeding up our Monte Carlo uh, algorithms we were happy of, of pricing uh, exotic options or we were happy of uh, of some new calculation methods and basically machine learning can help us here with tremendous speed ups so that's why I was saying I'm using old material that we have all been discussing here at Quant Minds, but now we let the machine help us and learn how we can do that actually much faster than individually doing our own kind of uh, algo. So will machine learning still play a role in the future of quantitative finance or is there some other technology that Quant should be looking out for? Well, I have a mixed opinion there. I think that machine learning and artificial intelligence is a great breakthrough for the risk management side of the business. I don't believe that uh, artificial intelligence will really bring us the holy grail regarding to trading, especially not for trading for the mainstream. Because eventually you need to explain the trade by some logic behind why do you buy or sell this particular instrument. And artificial intelligence, as far as I can see, cannot deliver that. To give you a simple example, there are uh, artificial intelligence trading uh, strategies base, based on Twitter kind of data. And it is not because somebody is twittering about an apple somewhere on the planet that we eventually are going to buy the apple stock. And so even if the algo would say buy the Apple stock and the explanation is because there are some tweets around, that's not an explanation that I buy to put my uh, money on the table. On the other hand, if machine learning is helping us with kind of doing better and faster calculations of things that we understand and, 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 and control, then I see lots, lots of opportunities because if it can speed up like the things that we are seeing here, uh, the, the algos with more than 100 or 1000 times, it gives you lots of new possibilities. But that's then from a risk managing perspective and not from a trading perspective. Wim Schoutens, thank you very much for joining me. You're welcome.